Hi folks, Rob here from RealQuest.com. In my hands I have the uh, full HD 1080p camera. It's a, a, a tethered camera, so the uh, camera itself is going to be tethered to a DVR unit. Um, I, I really prefer this setup because it allows me to see what I'm actually filming. Um, the, the stuff I do for my site, I'm out there on the road putting together ride videos for folks and uh, I don't want to miss anything so this setup it guarantees I won't miss anything or miss a shot so I'm going to read off some spe specs here for you the main sensor is a 5 mega CMOS sensor it shoots in uh, JPEG for pictures and that's uh, 32 by 2400 and 2592 by 1944 uh, the video format is MOV resolution 1080p that's 30 frames per second. That's 1920 by 1880 or 1080, I mean. And uh, it's the 720 resolution is 30 frames per second. It's 1280 by 720. And then there's a WVGA mode, which is 848 by 480, and that shoots in 60 feet per second. Um, the, the screen on the on the uh, DVR itself is a two-inch TFT LCD. Video output NTSC PAL, digital zoom four times. It comes with a with an infrared remote control, so that's a line of sight remote control. So you got to remember that. Um, it, it the the DVR unit when I un unbox it, you'll see it's going to have a, a, a little uh, port on the back where you can screw it into a camera mount, so you can have you know mount it on your handlebars wherever you want to mount it. You just got to make sure that you position it so if you are going to use the IR remote that it's in line of sight. Um, it has a uh, built-in speaker and external microphone. That is a big feature, the external microphone, because I run, uh, as I've been testing it, I've been running it up into my helmet and it's amazing. The clarity is just exceptional. It has a uh, built-in 64 meg internal memory and uh, it accepts up to a, a 32 gigabyte storage card. Um, one thing about these though, you do want to use a class 10 card those those cards are designed for video okay if you use anything other than that you're going to end up with some choppiness some uh, hesitation pausing things like that battery is a high capacity lithium rechargeable battery okay it has two of those the battery life is supposed to be from what i read three hours um, and it has two batteries uh, and it's also a usb 2.0 Okay, so that's the USP version that it supports. Okay, let's get to the unboxing portion of this. So this is how the it was shipped to me. It was in a box, of course, just like this. Now it has this nice kit form that it comes in. Okay, and I'll, by the way, I'd like to mention that uh, this camera I purchased last week from Sports View. That's Sports hyphen view spelled v-u-e dot com they have a nice lineup of, of uh, extreme sports cameras all in HD so go check them out great prices too so we'll go ahead and we'll open this okay so what we have here is uh, a couple pouches here one is uh, empty because it's a battery pouch and the batteries in the DVR unit Okay, here we have a lithium battery pack. So it comes with a backup battery, which is nice. Everything has a nice snug fit here. In this pouch, we have hardware mounting accessories and uh, this camera has a very nice tight mounting uh, system. You'll get some of these uh, Velcro stickies and stuff like that, but uh, these things you you you, you uh, stick them onto the bike. It comes with the the 3M adhesives and or your helmet, and then it, it literally just slides into place and uh, the screw goes through, screws, you screw this down and now you have your camera securely mounted and it, it's a secure mount. Now um, the camera has, has uh, 
kind of a thread to deal here that when you slide this over you can it'll click as you're turning the camera and I'll demonstrate that later but uh, it allows you to adjust the, the uh, rotation of the camera okay so there's a uh, there's that it comes with <coughs> the uh, AC adapter of course and the charger Just like that, battery fits in here. It uh, comes with a uh, 12 volt adapter, USB power. Your uh, USB cable. And your uh, video out so that you can uh, play back on your uh, TV. Now let's take a look at the camera itself. The camera is held in here nicely by Velcro straps. This is really is a well thought out kit. And in, in my opinion, this is what separates the, you know, the, the more professional equipment with, from the uh, novice stuff. And the price, which we'll talk about here in a second. This hood is a nice tight fitting hood, which I like because it's going to keep the dust out. We'll go ahead and set this aside now. So there's our camera. Okay. And as I stated, the camera will fit into this mount clips in there now listen to this so it's 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 a tight fit now there's a rubber band that also goes around here that's out of my bike right now I got it stored in the glove compartment but there it is <clears throat> okay this is this indicator is for the top center of course you'll be adjusting that uh, once it's on the helmet or bike. Now we have the DVR unit here. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom in on this. Now we're looking at the DVR unit. Okay. We have our controls. You have the uh, power on. This control right here is what's going to switch it from the different recording modes, including camera, when you put it into camera mode. So you can go from camera to WVGA to 720 to 1080p. Okay? These up down arrows, this is what controls the zoom. Okay? And then, uh, You've got your playback button and then your delete button and the OK is for selecting any on-screen prompts you might have like when you go to delete a file. Very, very simple operation <clears throat> and we have the record button right here. Very simple, very easy to use. On the side of the unit, of course in the front we have the speaker too, I've got to point that out. Now on the side of the unit, okay, we have our IR sensor here, we have two doors and this is kind of a water resistant but not waterproof design here. We have two doors with our USB 2.0 connection right there. And we have our video out, but up here is the, the important one that I use every time, and that's the mic in the mic in. And I don't have the mic here. I'll show you that here in a few seconds. Okay. Um, also, in our kit that I didn't show you is the uh, IR remote, little it's kind of like a key fob kind of a deal. You can see the little infrared beam on, on the end of it there. And <clears throat> again, this has to be used line of sight. Okay, power button for this unit is on the side. We'll go ahead and power it up. You'll see that it comes up fairly quickly. It has a nice bright readout 
and I found that even in, in bright, bright daylight you can see it perfect. So it's a good rig. So there it is, the full HD DVR unit. And again, <clears throat> it's tethered, so these components are locked into each other. But as, as, as far as riding and recording ride video, when you see the quality of this camera, and the fact that it's waterproof, you're going to be amazed. Now again, th this, this side unit is not waterproof, okay? So what I've done is purchased this, I believe it was $19, waterproof uh, unit. And uh, what I have done is purchase the back Garmin mount for it, the ball mount. I placed this in here and I did took I took a Dremel and, and cut out, made a cutout in the top. Watch this. I now have a waterproof container for this for on the bike, okay? And I have access to everything but the power button. This is a soft front, so watch this. I can hit record. It's recording. And when it's recording, you'll see a red dot pulsating up in the top of the, of the uh, window here, or the screen. I can uh, stop it. You'll see it save the file. Okay, I can... Uh, Adjust the zoom. We'll go ahead and zoom in on it. So I have full function of the whole entire front panel inside this waterproof housing. So um, you'll, you'll notice that when I'm showing you some of the equipment that, that I use for uh, photography or uh, uh, capturing ride video, um, I may get off on some tangents on some things I pair with it because I'm trying to demonstrate some some great additions to using the equipment so you can get the most out of it. Um, you've seen plastic bags and stuff like that to put around these things. This is a more of a protective sealed unit. I, I really like this whole design. Now you can also run the mic in here. I run, I've tested that. That works fine too. Now with this unit also, I mentioned the mic. You get the mic here and you, you can run it right up into your helmet, clip into your helmet. Um, and it plugs into the side right here. Well, there you have it, folks. The POV Full HD 1080p camera kit. Again, it's uh, sold by SportsView. That's sports-view.com, spelled B-U-E. Another thing I want to point out with SportsView, this camera comes with a, uh, I believe it's a one-year, you break it, they replace it guarantee. So. Uh, that in itself is worth, is worth the money you're going to spend, which I will now tell you is about $399 for this unit. This is a nice, safe setup for doing on-bike uh, video. Um, I highly recommend it. That said, go ahead and watch these next uh, segments of uh, nighttime riding, shooting of the camera, and daytime, and uh, look at the quality of the camera, and then you decide for yourself. This is Rob from RoadQuest.com. Thanks for viewing. A great shot of the moon up there. Clouds have cleared today and we're gonna got some nice weather here in the afternoon, so it's a pretty good day for